Let's learn how to convert a JPEG to a PDF in this quick and simple tutorial. Here I have a JPEG document, and as you can see from the information, I've got a 300 resolution file, there's my dimensions, and it's RGB. So to convert this file to a PDF, whilst keeping these dimensions and these specifications, I'm first going to go to Adobe Acrobat, so fire up Acrobat. Next then, go to File and Open. Once your open file panel appears, locate the image. Mine is in the images folder. And then under show, then you need to switch to all files. That will then allow you to select any file. Select the file and press open. So here's my JPEG opened in Acrobat. So I'm just going to command or control minus to zoom out. Next, I'm going to go to file, save as. Once the save as PDF panel appears, select where you'd like to save the file. I'm going to save mine to images and it's important do not reduce the file size. Keep it as it is so that then your JPEG maintains its qualities. When you're happy just double click. So now it's taken me to my images folder. I'm happy with the name of the file and it's saved as a PDF file. Again keep this as PDF do not optimize it and when you're happy with that click save. So you can see now the PDF has saved to the images folder. Now to show that the image has maintained its quality and specifications, I've opened up both the JPEG and the PDF in Photoshop. So if we go to the JPEG, come to image, image size. So there you go, you can see you've got your pixels here, 4959 by 7009. The resolution is 300, so that's fine. So if I do the same now with the PDF image size, you can see now I've got exactly the same dimensions and resolution here. Also, you can see from the tabs that both the PDF and the JPEG are RGB color mode. So everything has stayed the same and the JPEG has carried over its dimensions, specifications and qualities over to the PDF format. And there you go. It's that simple to convert a JPEG to a PDF using Adobe Acrobat. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.